Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, I've got something really exciting. At least I think it's exciting. And that is a new power management control setup for the Toyota Tacoma. Talked about this in a couple of the videos. Most of the parts are here now, so we're gonna start assembling. I have a Switch Pro, which we'll unbox here in a minute. And then also a uh, tray with some bus bars and other connections to hook up in conjunction with the Switch Pro uh, to set the system up that I'm looking for. Uh, Switch Pro obviously comes from Switch Pro. And this tray comes from a company called SD Off-Road. You can find them on Instagram if you're looking for something like this. Shout out to Derek for getting me all the stuff that I needed really, really quick. Okay, to start off, the guts of the system, the Switch Pro itself. Let's go ahead and see what they sent us. We've got uh, all of the little stickers. These things go on the control unit so that you can see uh, what it is that you're controlling. Then we have some instructions. These are gonna come in handy because I've never done this before. Uh, let's see, the Switch Pro unit itself. Right here, this is the guts, the brains, if you will. Then we have all of the wiring uh, that you're gonna need, as well as, looks like some wire loom, uh, the control unit. Let's take a look at this. This is what all the stickers are gonna go on, of course, or some of them, depending on what it is you're trying to control. There is the unit itself. That's what you're gonna control, and it'll control eight different accessories. It's one of the things that I really liked about it is that it does control uh, way more, double what I have right now. Uh, and then they do provide a tray of sorts, uh, a mounting bracket, if you will. We're not gonna be using this. And then a bag full of connectors and stuff like that. So that's the Switch Pro itself. Now, let's take a look at the uh, tray that I bought from SD Off-Road. Let's go ahead and see what we've got in here. Got some packaging and a list of stuff. That's cool. All of the things that uh, they sent with it. Love it. Then we have all of the things now. They do send a bag with a label, or ba other bags rather, with labeling as to everything that you need. That is pretty darn handy, I like that. Make it as simple as possible. Then we have a circuit breaker, definitely wanted that. A battery connector wire, gotta have that. And then various other things that you need. There's a block terminal, there's a bus bar, there's the Seagate, uh, or this is Blue Sea actually. It's the fuse block, gotta have that. And then of course, the tray itself. This is what I'm gonna mount everything to and that's what we're going to do next uh, to get everything set up. Okay, we're gonna jump right in. I am gonna follow the instructions provided. Uh, first of all, it calls for the terminal block. This is the terminal block, and then there was a bag, which I've taken the hardware out of, labeled TB for terminal block. And it's actually going to go right here on the tray. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop that out. And I don't believe it matters which way you put it. It looks to me like it uh, is unidirectional. So, it's going to go through the four holes there using the provided hardware. Next up, you want to install the Switch Pro's control module, or the Switch Pro system. It's going to go right here on the back, again with hardware provided in a bag labeled SP for Switch Pro. Pretty simple, just goes through the two holes here. By the way, one quick note, you may notice I've got some blue Loctite here. It is suggested that you use blue Loctite or Loctite just to keep everything from vibrating loose. So we are doing that as well. So we'll go ahead and get this on next. Okay, I've got everything mounted, just the two pieces so far. Got the wiring run through. Uh, just a quick note, these four, which are the ground, white, pink, and blue, you kind of want to put off to the side because they're going to connect to other things. 
The rest of the wiring, we're going to run through the slot here. I have it going down here. We're going to run back up through the slot here. We'll have to trim them, of course. And then we're going to connect them right across the terminal block. So I'm going to do that next. When I come back on, I'll show you uh, the colors and how I connected them. Okay, we've got all the wiring attached, uh, as you can see here. And I'll run through this with you real quick. Uh, as to how the wiring is done, because as far as I'm concerned, this is the most complicated part of the whole mod. So, there are four wires that you're going to put off to the side. Pink, white, blue, and then the ground wire. This ground wire, which has an end on it, it's very similar to the brown wire, which we'll get to in a minute. But it has an end on it, a terminal, because it's the ground wire. So, the other wires, you'll notice there are singles on the left and doubles on the right. The reason because of that is that the way the Switch Pro is set up, the ones that are color-coded brown, red, orange, and yellow are for a 20-amp circuit. The ones that are doubled over here are for a 35-amp circuit. So very important that you get these right so that you don't run things and exceed uh, the circuitry. So the way the wires go, you've got brown, red, orange, and yellow. And they're all connected right across the front here, one through four. And then five through eight, you've got double green, double blue, double purple, and double gray. Very important you get that right. This should make it pretty darn simple. It's really not too bad. You connect all the wiring via the terminals and stuff that comes with the kit. I highly suggest uh, that you go with this kit because, frankly, it is awesome. Again, it comes from SD Off-Road MT. You can see right here the MT Taco anyway, the insignia on their bracket um, or tray. But it makes it very simple. So far, no hiccups. I love how everything is labeled. For someone like me, that's a must. So next up, according to the instructions, we're supposed to secure. Actually, you're supposed to test fit it. I'm just going to take a leap of faith, assume it's going to work OK. It should. Um, I you're supposed to attach the bar. This is the uh, mount tray bar, I'm going to call it. This is what's going to secure over here on the edge. Again, the kit includes a little labeled bag with the hardware in it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, next up, and we have the little support bracket here installed loosely. Next up is the fuse block, this little beast right here. Uh, again, the hardware is in the kit, labeled FB for fuse block. So there are four screws with bolts, nuts, washers, all that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and get that put on. Okay, we've got the fuse block installed. Again, I did use some uh, blue Loctite on the back of the screws. Uh, make sure that you orient this right. Um, down at the bottom, next to the bus bar, which we're going to do next, you want the negative terminal down here as opposed to the positive at the top. Make sure you orient it correctly. Next up, the bus bar we're going to install right here. And again, the kit comes with the hardware to do it all nice and labeled. Love it. The last component, I believe, other than wiring that we have to attach to the tray is the circuit breaker right here. And it's going to go with this orientation just like this with these uh, two slots here. Again, we have a hardware bag and labeled circuit breaker. So we'll put that on next. Okay, we've got the fuse or the circuit breaker rather connected here. We left this loose and we left this loose um, just because you may need to move things around a little bit for the wiring. So next up is connect the black wire, the short wire right here. Um, from the bus bar to the fuse block. So we're gonna do that next. You're gonna connect from here to right here. All right, we've got the tray completely assembled now. You can see we have the positive wire up top going from the circuit breaker here. And then we have the negative going from the bus bar to the fuse block. And that's it. The rest of the install will be underneath the hood of the truck. So far, so good. Gotta say, I uh, love the kit. By the way, I do want to mention, in case there's any confusion, the Switch Pro is separate from the kit, the tray kit. 
So you have to buy both if, uh, if you're looking to do this. You'd buy the Switch Pro separate and then the tray with all of the hardware and all that stuff separately. Anyway, I'm going to cut it here because the video is going to be way too long and nobody will watch it. So we'll pick up uh, in the next part uh, putting the Switch Pro tray and the wiring in the Tacoma. That should be interesting to see. I think uh, it should be pretty straightforward, but we're going to find out. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think so far. I'd be curious to know. It's really not that complicated. Looks more complicated, really, than it is. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive Project Cars, right now, all about the Mercedes-Benz. Lots of mods and things over there. And Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And don't forget, smash the subscribe button here, too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.